Well, what's happening guys? Bob here, Rides Auto Sales. Got a lot of people asking for a video on this very, very, very nice 70 Charger sitting on our showroom floor, guys. Make sure you read through the description as a whole lot of time, money has went into this thing and it, it is a super, super nice driver, guys. I'm gonna have Sheldon go ahead, just fire it up so you guys can hear it run. up front here for you. Alright buddy, you're good. You can kill it. As you can see, this 440 does rest in between the fenders as it should, running a set of headers, some nice Mopar valve covers, brand new air filter, as you can see, power brakes, power steering, mechanical fan, radiator looks good. Underneath, hood maintaining that satin Mopar finish to it. Go ahead and close this hood, give it to you in full frame so you can take a peek at that. As you can see guys, and any 70 guy out there knows how expensive these grills are to replace. This grill is in great condition. Headlight doors work as they should. Panel gaps line up great from fender to hood, both sides. Cruising down passenger side, you're gonna see nothing but nice crisp lines, smooth contours all the way through. Panel gap from fender to door, looks great. BFs around American Racing, power disc brakes up front. Rocker panels look great. Gray has a little bit of ghosting through the fly panels, as you can see. But clear coat, was, clear coat was laid out very good. Rear bumper's in great condition. Shines true and bright. Rear tail lights, no cracks, condensation buildup, anything like that. Doesn't have your typical Mopar rust around here. All nice and clean. Trunk lid lines up great with rear quarters, as you can see. Both sides line up really, really well. Once again, these rear fly panels coming across. Little bit of ghosting in here with silver. Um, that charcoal gray is one of the hardest colors to lay out. But as I said, it is it is priced accordingly, guys. But you know, this thing represents itself very, very true. I represent the car as it is. Uh, clear coat was laid out very well, and it does look good. Like I said, just a little bit of ghosting up on there. Cruising across, rear quarter to door. You can see panel gaps, very, very nice. Once again, rocker panels in great condition. Bottom of the doors are nice and sharp. Maintain that factory edge, no Bondo overlap, anything like that. Doors are aligned great, as you're gonna see. Uh, door sill plates have no scuffing on them. Striker plates, unpainted. No scuff marks all the way through. Trim is brand new, nothing, you know, cracked, weather checked, anything like that. <coughs> Excuse me, we'll go ahead and close that. One finger closes nice and solid. Door to front fender, panel gap lines up great. Nice sharp lines that line up all the way through. Hood sits nice and flush, no weird spring, anything like that. Rear BFs in good condition as well. As I said, little rock chip. 
Another one here that has been touched up well. Go ahead, open this. Give you a shot of the interior. <coughs> Excuse me. Door panels reworked. Look great, all hardware. Works as it should, lock, unlock. Windows roll up great, roll down great. Front seat. Excuse me here real quick, Let's pop this thing forward. Carpet's all brand new, free of any tears, rips, stains, anything like that. Back seat looks great. Dome light works. And slide that guy back again. Underneath the dash is nice and clean as well. You don't have a wire nest mess underneath there. As I said, center console appears to be original. Very, very good condition. Um, dash appears to be original as well, but as I said, you know, no UV damage, anything like that. Nice and clean all the way across. Glove box still lines up great with the rest of it. Gauges present themselves very well. <coughs> Go ahead and jump back here. Cruise all the way around. Get to this side of the car before we do close. And that is the beautiful 70 Charger resting on our showroom floor, guys. Once again, my name Bob. Email address, phone number will be directly below this video. Feel free to give me a call, shoot me a text, email any questions, comments, words of wisdom. I would love to hear from you and help you with your next purchase from Rides Auto Sales. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.